Hey guys, Meteor Bottle Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Our big Colorado snowstorm is still on track, but here's where it's coming from. I want to start in Utah. Alta, Utah reporting 16 inches in the last 24 hours. Now on the cusp of 500. I think you could get there today. I think it's possible you pick up another two or three inches of accumulation today as the storm exits Utah and rolls into Colorado. Here's the view up at Solitude. You can see some light additional snow coming down there. And uh, Solitude is reporting a foot of snow in the last 24 hours. Here's radar. So now the whole storm is starting to pivot into Colorado and it's going to set up as that Albuquerque type low, that Panhandle hook type storm system, southeast Colorado around the Panhandle of Texas and Oklahoma. And then the spin around it will help to maximize the lift across the front range foothills of Colorado, the Continental Divide, all the way down into southern Colorado. That's where we're going to see one to three feet of accumulation out of this thing. So it is going to be a major storm system. Seeing some rain showers right now across uh, the lower elevations of uh, Colorado. And you can see some snow moving into the western slope right now. But this is just the start of this of this storm system. All right, here's what I'm seeing this morning as far as bullet points. So the Colorado low is still on track. Very steady snow trend. The last three updates have all been very similar as far as amounts. Um, this storm will maximize orographic flow across the Front Range with a lot of lift up to the Continental Divide. Um, in general, these favored areas are going to get one to three feet of accumulation between this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow, into the morning of 315. Then the snow will drop south and out of Colorado. The Tetons, you might see an additional one to three inches today. Wasatch, another one to three, maybe four inches today as the storm exits. New Mexico, light accumulation this afternoon, tonight, moderate to heavy afternoon, 314, 315, 316. So the whole storm will come out of Colorado and drop south through New Mexico, and then it actually is going to retrograde back to the west. In the northeast, rain 315, 317, and possibly some snow, 318, 319, but uh, the temperatures are uh, marginal. For sure. All right, let me take you over to water vapor satellite imagery this morning, give you the lay of the land. So our big storm system right here, digging to the south, it's going to pivot and roll down into the preferred position, and that's what's really going to help to spin this storm up um, on the east side of the Rockies. Another big storm system right here, this will be part of um, a pattern change after 320 across the west. In fact, here's the jet forecast. End of day today, you can see the big broad trough building through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico. By tomorrow, it's still there, but the low is starting to get cut off from the main flow. Um, and it's going to be released and retrograde back to the west over parts of Arizona, southern Utah, and parts of Nevada. And that's where it's going to die. It will sit there and spin for days on end, weakening, throwing pieces of moisture in and out of Utah, Arizona, New Mexico and southwest Colorado, and then it's gone. And then here comes that pattern shift. On about 319, 320, 321, 322, the northern branch will come north to south and buckle into the lower 48. That'll bring snow back after a long, dry stretch for parts of uh, Banff and parts of BC, the Pacific Northwest, Idaho, Montana. That'll bring all of that action back, and it's probably going to drop all the way down into Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado and spread some snow through those areas, 320 through 322. All right, and look at that powerful uh, jet coming in from the south right there. That's impressive. All right, here's the forecast radar by 530 today. The low starts to mature in southeast Colorado. Rain for Denver. So if you're looking at the forecast for Denver, you really have nothing to worry about today. It's too warm. It's mainly going to be rain. But if you're above 6,000 feet, if you're up in the foothills, if you're up on the Continental Divide, if you're uh, down south over the elevated terrain between Denver and Colorado Springs and the Palmer Divide, as we call it, you're probably going to run into heavy snow. And you can see it does intensify this afternoon into tonight. Then, overnight to tomorrow, it does change to snow in Denver and across the Front Range. You can see the blue there, and it could be heavy during the morning hours tomorrow, especially uh, I-25 west. Especially west of I-25, um, that's where a lot of this flow is going to maximize, and then south across the Palmer Divide as well, running up through the foothills to the Continental Divide, and then watch in time as the flow shifts into southern Colorado and northern New Mexico, and those areas start to get nailed. Still snowing here on 314 in the afternoon um, across a lot of Colorado, still snowing here through the morning of 315. Heavier snow now starts to transition to southern Colorado, New Mexico, and now the low starts to retrograde back 
through parts of Utah, Arizona, and still throwing out little pieces of energy from time to time, but it sits there and spins for days on end. Here's 319 in the morning. That low's still there. Look how dry it is. It is dry and clear up in the Pacific Northwest in BC for the time being. By late 319, watch what happens in the 320. Here comes the jet next storm system. And then that starts to snow through the lower 48 as that storm gathers and digs to the south. So that'll be the pattern shift coming back. Latest numbers look like this. Latest grand total map. This accounts for everything through late 322. Uh, one to three feet in Colorado, um, about a foot down through parts, we'll call it 10 to 20 through northern New Mexico, about a foot for Bryant Head and Snowball, because remember that low is going to move in that direction. Um, and the snow you see in the Wasatch and the Tetons, the bulk of that comes 320, 321, and 322. Um, and, and you can see the numbers starting to tick up there in the Pacific Northwest and BC, interior BC in particular. We could see moderate to heavy snow cumes, sunshine over towards a kicking horse down in the Fernie and Red Mountain. And a lot of that happens 320, 321, and also 322. Uh, here's the uh, front range of Colorado. Here's the update for today. This runs today through 316, so it looks at this storm system specifically. You can see Denver down below at 5280. Again, the biggest accumulations are all west of I-25 and then south across the Palmer Divide. If you're above 6,000, you're going to get the biggest numbers in the foothills running up to the Continental Divide, but not beyond it. The numbers you see west of the Continental Divide, Summit County, Vail, Breck, all of that, most of that happens in the lead-up to this storm system. Once we get the, the mature storm, most of the snow is going to stay on the divide in east. Um, and, and you can see the potentials there for three feet of accumulation over a large swath of the foothills. Looking at about a foot downtown Denver, it's a very heavy, wet, moisture-laden snowfall, a backbreaker snowfall, if you will. Significantly less accumulation up in Fort Collins, Loveland, and Greeley. Okay, let's look at all this by time period so you can see how this plays out. Between today and tomorrow, the next 48 hours, the numbers really start to tick up in Colorado, especially on the Continental Divide, the foothills, and running down into southern Colorado. And by 315 to 317, you've got leftover snow, especially on 315, in parts of Colorado South. Then the numbers start to uh, tick up in parts of southern Utah, Arizona, and northern New Mexico during that time period as well. But notice it is completely dry in the Pacific Northwest in BC during that time period. Okay, last time period, this is 318 through 322. So the snow you see, most of it in Utah, Wyoming, Colorado happens 320, 321, and 322. In fact, most of the snow in BC, Idaho, and Montana also happens during that time period. So it's a late arrival into that, uh, into that time period. Into the Northeast we go against a fair amount of rain showers here through 315, 316, 17, and then maybe some snow, 318, 319. Uh, most of it's going to be northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine, but just overall the temperatures just look marginally warm during this period. Not the best for snow production, uh, but that's what I'm expecting. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here. By late 322, anywhere in purple's over a foot. We have a lot of accumulation to go in Colorado. This is going to be just one of those classic March snowstorms for Colorado where you spin the storm up and you maximize the orographics. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this morning Mountain Weather Update. Always appreciate it and take care.